You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. I think something bad may happen to Constantine, and I have a big John Capellos reveal to share with you. So the NBC streaming soap has, you know, this sneaky snake new villain, Constantine Melionis, and I just found out that something big is going on with him that could mean something very bad happens to who's turning out to be a very, very bad man. Call it karma, but I'm kind of delighted and I'm also quite intrigued. So we're going to talk about what this means after a recent casting call came out related to actor John Capellos, who plays the greedy. Greek. We're going to talk about that, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. So I've mentioned this before, but if you guys wonder why Constantine looks so familiar to you, he may not sound familiar, but he definitely looks familiar. It's because John Capellos was a staple in a lot of 80s movies that we watched, know, and love. He played Carl, the snarky janitor in The Breakfast Club. He played the oily bohunk groom in 16 Candles. John Capellos has worked constantly since the mid-80s, but... I don't really remember seeing him use a Greek accent in a role. Lee, he may have done, and it just not be in any of the things I've seen, like the John Hughes movies, you know. He definitely does it well, and I'm sure that's because his family is originally from Greece. As fun as John Capellos is, Constantine is much less fun. And if you were hoping to see that bad guy exposed and packed off back to his tavern in Greece, think again. Apparently, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. What's really scary about the confirmation that he's sticking around is that it means he might actually get his way with Maggie Kiriakis and make her his bride. I mean, how awful would that be? Constantine wants the Kiriakis fortune. He actually feels it's owed to him because he says his family loaned Victor the money to get started that he ended up turning into the gazillion dollar corporation Titan Industries. So Constantine was completely outraged that Victor left him nothing in the will. I mean, hello, have you met Victor Kiriakis? John Aniston was a lovely man, but Victor... Victor was a true villain. He was a bad guy on his good days, who, of course, was an absolute delight to watch through all his decades on days, but but not a nice man. Nice to Maggie, nice to some people, but he could be dangerous. He engaged in illegal activities. He had people killed. He was a villain. He was a great villain. So here's the big news about Constantine and why we know John Capello sticks around and why we suspect a bad thing might might be in store for him. A casting call went out from NBC for a body double for him. The actor is 67, so maybe there's like a stunt or a scene that's too physical for him to shoot or something. Days of Our Lives posted an urgent casting notice for auditions this week for a body double for Constantine for scenes that start taping on November 29th. They want someone roughly his age with a similar hairline, and they even showed a picture of his bald spot in the back as part of the casting call. So why a body double? So I just looked up the various reasons they might use one because my initial thought when I hear body double is I think about female actresses and it's usually for a nude scene if the actress doesn't want her own body appearing unclothed on camera. A lot of times for men, it's a butt double. And I will send Days of Our Lives a sizable monetary donation if they will not show us Constantine stripped down to his birthday suit. Just no. No, no, no. You know, Days is on streaming now, so technically they could drop F-bombs and they could show us unclothed body parts if they wanted to. I mean, being on a streaming service is basically like being on HBO. That means you can show almost anything. You can't show like actual 
you know, people doing the deed, but you can show frontal just about everything and backal nudity too. So they could go, you know, full Game of Thrones naked stuff all over the place if they wanted to. I don't want them to. <laughs> no insult to John Capellos, but I will stick with watching Rob Scott Wilson shirtless and sweats, lifting weights like he was doing as Alex this week on Days. The other situations though, where they might want a body double is if someone needs a doppelganger for a scene. If you don't know what a doppelganger is, it's a lookalike. Or they may want a double that has a skill that the actor doesn't have, like roller skating or playing piano. But I doubt that's the case because there were no special skills listed in the casting call. And last, they may do it if there's a like a mild stunt scene, not something you need a full-blown stunt double for, but a stunt scene. That, that would kind of be strange because they're looking for someone age 60 to 70. That seems on the older end for a stunt double. The casting call doesn't mention a stunt. It's very mysterious. But what it absolutely does tell us is that we should expect to see Constantine still around in half a year because they tape six months out. So that means scenes that start taping November 29th, as the casting call says, will air around the end of May 2024. So why a double and why is he staying? Clearly to me, this is a a red flag that the reveal of Xander as Victor's real secret biological son could be delayed into next year. And I've been told by a fairly reliable leaker that Emily O'Brien is still filming as Teresa Donovan and Gwen is not coming back for the foreseeable feature. So that's just another red flag that this fake Kittyakis will and, you know, secret sun scheme is going to rock on. Maybe into May sweeps. I mean, gosh, that's so far away. Maybe that's when it all comes out though and they need a body double for some sort of death scene or some kind of mildly physical scene that John Capellos can't do for some reason. Maybe he's got a bad back. I don't know. So what do you guys think about this casting call and what it it means? I mean, at the very minimum, it means we're still going to be seeing him in six months. And that's not a good thing because he's a bad guy and he is targeting Maggie. And that has me very, very worried for Maggie. I mean, were you like me? Were you hoping to see Constantine and Teresa exposed much sooner than May? I have a couple more questions for you. But if you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And And be sure and tell me in the comments, are you kind of upset that Constantine and Teresa are sticking around and these storylines are going to drag on for a bit? Do you think Constantine will be able to trick Maggie into marriage? I mean, you know, Steve Johnson is on to him and he and John Black are planning on going to Greece to try and dig up some dirt on him. But it also sounds like Maggie has you know, she's kind of been snowed by this guy and she was just talking to her daughter about buying him a Christmas present, which means she is inviting him to stay for the holidays. The guy needs to go. All right, that's everything I have on this development for John Capellos. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Come back soon. I'm here seven days a week talking days with you guys. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 